The metamorphosis is one of Harry Houdini's signature tricks. And like many magic tricks, it relies on assumptions. The concept of the metamorphosis is simple. The magician and the assistant swap places. But the audience assumes that nobody could physically perform that swap as quickly as it happened on stage. In fact, Houdini's assistant, his wife, had trained very hard to be very quick at swapping places with Houdini. But from the point of view of the audience, this would be impossible to think about. So the conclusion is that magic has taken place on stage. So we make lots of assumptions, both in the magic show, in real life. And what it comes down to is that even when the explanation that results from our assumptions is wrong, such as there was real magic happening on stage, that is often more comfortable having a wrong explanation than having no explanation at all. So you know Neville Maskelyne, the magician, and Harry Houdini, the famous American magician, they both sought out to uh, debunk seances. But it didn't start that way for Harry Houdini. He, he desperately, at one point earlier in his life, wanted to communicate with his mother, who was in the afterlife, unfortunately. And so he sought out seances. He met with a master uh, medium in England, who happened to be Arthur Conan Doyle's wife. And it was this moment that was a turning point for Harry Houdini, because he basically went from being uh, a believer, or maybe an agnostic, to being an unbeliever and a skeptic. And what happened was, he actually sat down in the seance and uh, Arthur Conan Doyle's wife said that uh, Harry's mother was communicating to him through her and that she had to say some nice things to him. For example, he said that she was to, to Harry, Harry, I'm so proud of you, and that, uh, that she loved him very much. And this enraged Houdini. And the reason was because Harry Houdini was his stage name. His mother called him Eric, which is what his name was. And furthermore, she only ever spoke to him in German. So he knew that this was completely false and that, uh, that the medium was in fact making it all up. In fact, Harry Houdini, after this happened and after he had become a skeptic, he went further and he told his wife, that after he died, if there was any way for him to communicate with her from the beyond, he would do that. And for a number of years, Harry Houdini's widow held seances, tried to communicate with Houdini. There was never any word from him.